Hi, it's Chris from My Girlfriend's Cool Shop, and together, let's make a king-size pillowcase from one piece of fabric. First thing I'm gonna do is take my piece of fabric that measures 42 inches by the width of fabric, and I'm going to fold it with the selvages together, right sides together. Next, with my serger, I'm going to serge down the short edge. Now, if I were on my sewing machine, I would definitely cut off the selvage before I began to stitch it. However, with my serger, I can go ahead and trim that off as I serge. One thing I'd like to show you is how to do what's called a wrapped corner. In order to get a beautiful corner from the outside, all I'm going to do is take that first serge seam, fold it in right on the seam line, and then at the very beginning and at the very edge, I will go ahead and continue surging all the way down. See this wrapped corner right here? This is exactly the way it should look on the outside and it's going to look beautiful when it's turned right side out. Now you can do this both on a serger as well as a sewing machine. It doesn't matter, the technique is the same. My serging is now complete and I'm ready to take it back to the sewing machine. Now I'm ready to take my open side and create the cuff. To do so, I want to fold it over about five inches. To make it really easy, I like to take my fabric folding pin and with my ruler lined up, I'm just going to run this all the way down. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Turn over my cuff till it measures about five inches right along the line that I just used the fabric folding pin on. And you can use a little ruler just to double check. And press. Once it's been pressed once, we're ready to do it again. With my cuff pressed in place, I'm now ready to do one final stitch. And that is, I'm going to take the cuff, bring it over to the machine, and do a one inch seam allowance along the top. What's gonna happen is we're creating a faux flange. Scooch this right on over to the one inch mark on your machine. Press your foot down and begin to stitch. And with that, it's all done. Let's take a look. And with my little turning tool here, I'll go ahead and just poke out those corners. Notice we have a beautiful reinforced corner here where I did the wrapped corner technique. And I have a pretty cool looking flange too. Press it down. And that king size pillowcase is all complete. Pretty fun too. And it'll only take you five to 10 minutes to make. How many pillowcases will you make? For more video tutorials, visit us over at mygirlfriendscoolshop.com, Facebook, and on our YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos to come.